see arithmetic progression. Today we will discuss the sum of n terms of an AP. So now let us find the sum of first 100 positive integers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus 100. To find the sum of this 100 positive integers we have s equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus 100. Now let us write the same progression. Is it a pro arithmetic progression? S 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3 etc. All positive integers from 1 to 100. So now let us uh, write the same AP in the reverse order so that we get in this form. If you write it in the reversing order, we get the AP like this. Now, we add this to arithmetic progression. That is S plus S. S plus S means it is 2S. Now, we add 1 plus 100. 1 plus 100. Then, 2 plus 99, 3 plus 98, etc. 99 plus 2, plus 100 plus 1. It goes like this. While adding these two arithmetic progression. Now, let us see what we get. It is 101. This is also 101, this is also 101 plus etc plus 101 plus 101. How many times we get? Yes, we get it 100 times. 100 times 101. So, now you can say that the sum of all these numbers is 100 into 101. So we get, we can say that 2s is equal to 100 into 101. So s equal to 100 into 101 by 2. That is 50 into 101. So the answer is 5050. That is sum of all the positive integers from 1 to 100. Answer is 5050. This was the task given to one boy that is, uh, he was 10 years old, one boy that is in the 19th century. When he was 10 years old, he was asked by his teacher to find the sum of the integers from 1 to 100. Uh, actually, the purpose of the teacher was to make the class silent, but within second, one, that same boy, uh, told the answer as 5050. Answer was wonder. He got, uh, he asked the technique to the boy and he told this is the way I did. I calculated in this method. Uh, that boy was later became the one of the famous mathematicians. His name was Carl Frederick Gauss. He was lived in the 19th century. So we can say that uh, we can pair, if you take any AP, you can pair two terms in this way or in such a way that whose sum of two numbers or sum of the two terms is equal. If you Take to AP and uh, ascending order and descending order. And if you add like this, that is he added like this. First and last. Then second and second last. Third and third last. It goes on like this. So the same sum he is getting adding. While adding the numbers or in pairs, he got the same answer. The same way if you take and add. Uh, in an AP, if you take, do in the same order, we will get the same, uh, okay, you can pair two terms in such a way that we get the 
same sum. That is here you can see that it is 100 by 2. This is a 100. There are 100 terms. So sum is 100 into 101. So we can generalize it as if there are n terms. So it will be n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Sum of n positive integers is given by s is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Suppose if you want to find the sum of 1000 natural numbers, you can see that sum is equal to 1000 into 1000 plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. Now I can take some other example. You can consider this AP that is 8 Now consider this AP. Just uh, if you write the same AP in the reversing order, you can say that. Okay, now add this numbers 8 plus 16, okay, 24. 10 plus 2, 14 is 24. 12 plus 12, 24. Okay, you can see the pairs in such a way that their sum is equal. About him, a brief description is there. Just go through it. See in you can see in page number nine about the, this mathematician. A small description is given. Just go through it. Now the same technique is used to find the sum of n terms of any AP. Let us see that same technique you can apply. What are the general terms of an AP? Yes, it is a. A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus N minus 1 into D. So now let us write S equal to sum of all these terms. These are the general terms of the AP. So let us find the sum of this. S plus A, A plus S is equal to A plus A plus D. A plus 2D plus etc. plus A plus N minus 1 into D. Can you see? What will be the term just uh, preceding this two? That is A plus N minus 2 into D and the last term is A plus N minus 1 into D. If you write uh, the same AP in the reversing order, in the reversing order, the AP in the reversing order, you can write like this S equal to A plus N minus 1 into D plus A plus N minus 2 into D plus etc. plus A plus 2D plus A plus D plus A. Now we'll add in the order that is first term plus the first term of the second AP when you reverse it or it will be first term plus the last term first plus last second plus second last second one plus this one the same order we pair it we, we can add a S plus S we get 2S equal to A plus. This is what the sum of the first and last term. Plus here comes second term A plus D plus. Okay that is the second last term. Plus etc. Plus our last term as okay. If you go on adding in the same order, we can see that the sum is last term, last term plus the last term of the reversed AP. 
C on adding what we get A plus A is 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Again if you add this A and A it becomes 2A. How will you add this D plus N minus 2 into D? And we can add like this the D plus N minus 2 into D. So D outside. So 1 plus N minus 2. That is D into 1 plus N minus 2. So in the bracket you can see that it is N minus 1. So N minus 1 into D. So that you can replace this as 2A plus N minus 1 into D. We get the same sum. Okay. This is the way you add A plus A is 2A. Next to D plus N minus 2 into D. That is D is taken common 1 plus N minus 2. So removing the bracket last we get N minus 1 into D. Etc. Plus again here A plus A it becomes 2A plus N minus 1 into D. Okay. Are you following this? Yes. Now we can see that everywhere we get the same sum. That is how many times we get the same sum. That it will be n times n into. There are n terms. So it is n times 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So that this is what our 2 is. So s equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now this is the sum of n terms of an AP. If you take any AP, if you know all these that is A, D and the number of terms of the AP, you will be able to find out the S using the same formula. Again we know that here there are four quantities that is S, N, A and D. If you know any three among this, you will be able to find out the fourth one using the same formula. S equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Here we get the sum of n uh, terms of an AP is given by Sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. You can rewrite this once again as Sn equal to n by 2 into 2a can be written as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. That is n by 2 into a plus. What is this a plus n minus 1 into d? Yes, it is a n. So sn equal to n by 2 into a plus a n. Sum of n terms of n a p is given by sn equal to this or you can use Sn equal to N by 2 into A plus A N or it is equal to once again N by 2 into A plus the last term. The sum of N positive integers is given by given by Sn equal to N into N plus 1 by 2. That is we already found that 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc plus n. That is, if it is 100 here, 100 into 100 plus 1 by 2 we got, isn't it? That was the technique used by Gauss. That is 100 into 100 plus 1 by 2. The same way here, 1 plus 2 plus etc plus n is equal to, or sn here equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. Okay. We can uh, use the same formula to do some questions. That is, find the sum of us 10 terms of the AP. We have the, uh, we have the progression as 2, 7, 12, etc. So, what we get from this AP? Okay, you get A, A equal to 2. And the common difference is second term minus first term, that is equal to 5. And what is this term? EN, number of terms equal to 10. It is asked to find out the Sum of first 10 terms of the AP. So we have the formula Sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. 
that is n means it is 10. So S10 equal to 10 by 2 into 2 into A 2 plus n is 10 minus 1 into 5. 10 by 2 is 5 into 4 plus 9 into 5. 5 into 4 plus 45. So it is 5 into 49. Answer is 245. Find the sum of first 11 terms of the AP. 1 by 15, 1 by 12, 1 by 10 etc. So here also we have what is A? A is 1 by 15. What is D? Second term minus first term. 1 by 12 minus 1 by 15. How to find 1 by 12 minus 1 by 15? You can take the MCM of 15 and 12 or cross multiply. That is 1 into 15, 15 minus 12 divided by 12 into 15. What is 12 into 15? Then 180. Is it not? 15 minus 12 divided by 180. That is equal to 3 by 180 or it is equal to 1 by 60. So here the common difference is 1 by 60. Now we can find out S11. First write the formula SNS. S11. 11 by 2. 2 into A. It is 1 by 15 plus 11 and minus 1. 11 minus 1 into 1 by 60. So it is 11 by 2 into 2 by 15 plus 11 minus 1 is 10 by 60. 11 by 2 into 2 by 15 plus 1 by 6. Okay, again you can take the LCM of bracket how to do. Take the LCM of 15 and 6. What is LCM of 15? 6. Okay, you can find it as 30. So, LCM. So, how to get 30 from 15? If you multiply with the 2. So, here also 2. That is 4. 2 to are 4 plus. Here, you have to multiply with the 5. So, it is 5 by 30. So, answer is 11 by 2 into 9 by 30. Again, you can simplify 9 and 30. You can cancel by 3. So, that 11 by 2 into 3 by 10. Or answer is 33 by 20. So, S11 equal to 33 by 20. Find the sum. 7 plus 10, 1 by 2 plus 14 plus etc. plus 84. Here, it is an AP with the first term as 7. And you can find the common difference what it is. Okay, first term equal to 7. Common difference D equal to 10 1 by 2 means 10.5 minus 7 that is equal to 3.5. Okay, you can see 10.5 plus 3.5 is what? 14. So, common difference is the same. So, it form an AP. Okay, now uh, last term. What is the last term? We know that it is AN. AN equal to 84. So, which formula we make use here to find out the sum? Okay, you can find, use the any formula to find. But here it is easy. I think Sn equal to, we have the second formula that is n by 2 into first term plus the last term. You okay? can find out the number of terms by using the formula. We already studied, learned that. What is the number of terms? We have n equal to. Last term minus first term divided by D plus 1. So, AN. AN is given 84 minus 7 divided by common difference is 3.5 plus 1. That is 77 by 3.5 plus 1. Multiply with the 10 numerator and denominator we get. Okay. That is. On dividing 770 by 35, 77, 35 goes 2 times, 2 into 35, 70, 7 balance, 70 again, 235. So, 22 plus 1, that is 20, 
3. Number of terms from 7 to 84, it is 23. Now we can use the formula. We apply the values in the formula that is S23. S23 equal to 23 by 2 into A is 7 plus last term is 84. That is 23 by 2 into 84 plus 7 that is 91. So if you simplify you will get as 3. By 2. two that if you divide 2093 by 2, you can see that it is 106.5. Okay, 1046.5 is the answer. That is what is 23. Sum of all these terms. That is, there are 23 terms. You can find a number of terms using this formula. So, Sum of 23 terms of this AP is 1046.5. Let us see how to do this. Negative 5 plus negative 8 plus negative 11 plus etc. Negative 230. What is the first term here? Yes, it is negative 5. What is the common difference? Second term minus first term. Okay. Negative 3. And what is this negative 230? That is the last term. Now, the same way we will do, we can find out the number of terms using the formula. Okay. Now, we have number of terms equal to, so A n is negative 230, minus of minus. Seven three seven twenty one five. So n is equal to seventy six. Number of terms n equal to seventy six. So now s seventy six. We have s n equal to n by two into first term plus the last term. So it is seventy six by two into first term is negative five. Last term is negative 230. 76 by 2 is 38 into negative 235. So 38 into 235. You can multiply. 8930. So negative 8930 is the answer. Sum of 76 terms of the AP SN is equal to S7 S. 76 equal to 8930. Here, in an AP given, A equal to 5, D equal to 3, A n equal to 50, find N and S n. So, here given 3 data, first term, common difference and the nth term. You have to find out what is N and S n. So first we have to find the n. How to find n? Okay, we can make use the formula for a n. What else? We have a equal to 5, d equal to 3. And it is given a n equal to 50. a n equal to 50 means a plus n minus 1 into d equal to 50. a we can give 5 plus n minus 1 into 3 equal to 50 n minus 1 into 3 50 minus 5 n minus 1 equal to 45 take this 3 divide 3 so n minus 1 equal to we get here 15 minus 1 equal to 15 so n equal to 15 plus 1 it is 16 so there are 16 terms of this AP. So, N is 16. Now, this has to find out SN. SN equal to N by 2 into A plus. Okay, we know first term and the last term. Last term means it is 16th term. So, A plus AN. 
So S sixteen. S sixteen is sixteen by two into first term five A N. A N means N is sixteen. So A sixteen is given. A sixteen is fifty. So sixteen by two eighteen to fifty five. That is four. Forty. So S sixteen is equal to, or S n equal to here, four forty. Here, um, it's given uh, in N A B given A equal to seven. That is first term is given as seven. Thirteenth term is equal to thirty five. A thirteen equal to thirty five means thirteenth term. It is asked to find out D and S thirteen sum of thirteen terms. Start with A thirteen. A thirteen equal to thirty five. That is A plus twelve D equal to thirty five. Seven plus twelve into D equal to thirty five. Twelve D equal to thirty five minus seven. Twelve D equal to twenty eight. D equal to twenty eight by twelve. That is equal to seven four sa twenty eight three four sa. Twelve. Okay. D equal to seven by three. Now you have to find out S thirteen. So we have S n equal to n by two into. It is asked to find out thirteen terms. So it is first term plus A thirteen. First term plus the last term. That is um, S thirteen. S thirteen is thirteen by two into first term seven. Plus a thirteen is thirty five, so thirteen by two into forty two. That is thirteen into you get it twenty one. So into twenty one that is two seventy three. Here it is given that a three equal to fifteen, s ten equal to one twenty five. Find d and a ten. So here we have to use the two formula that is four a three a three means a three is a plus two d and s ten formula for s ten also we have to make use so a three equal to fifteen that means a plus two d equal to fifteen equation number one and s ten equal to one twenty five what is s ten it is n by two into 2a plus 10 equal to 10 by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d equal to 125. 5 into 2a plus 9d that is 2a plus 9d equal to bring this 5. So 125 by 5 that is 25. So we get 2a plus 9d equal to 25d. Second equation. Now we can solve equation number one and equation number two to find A and D. You can say that equation one, equation one into two gives two A plus four D equal to thirty. That is equation one is this. A into two two A two into two D four D two into fifteen is thirty. Now we have the equation two A plus four D equal to thirty and two A plus nine D equal to twenty five. This is our equation number three. Now we can subtract equation two and three. Equation number two minus three gives. Subtracting twenty five minus thirty minus five d equal to negative five by five. It is negative one d equal to negative one. Now to get the value of a ten, we have to find a also. How to get a? Okay, you can substitute the value of d in equation number one. That is a plus two d equal to fifteen. That is equation number one. Put d a plus two into negative one equal to fifteen. A equal to 
2 into minus 2 minus 1 is minus 2. So, take away minus 2 to the other side. So, A equal to 70. So, A we got, B also got. So, that we can find out 810. Okay. So, 810 equal to 8. That is 8. 10th term of this 8. AP is 8. 10th.